On this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to fix those messy drywall work that shows bubbling, cratering, and even exposing of mesh or tape. So stay tuned. Welcome to Fix This House. If you're new to the channel, consider pressing the subscribe and notification bell so you can always be in tune on DIYs, how to videos, and product reviews that I do within this channel. So, I'm in the process of renovating my kitchen, and above the ceiling of where my kitchen is, it just has a lot of tear out. It has all this bubbling, it has a lot of craters, and some of them are showing with all these mesh tape. So, the first thing you want to do is get a utility knife and try to get rid of all these bubbles. Now, be very careful, you don't want to cut too much deep into the dry wall all you want to do is score enough so that you can take out the bubbling and relieve all those air pockets inside the drywall tape you know i rather prefer using tape rather than mesh on these patch up jobs because it pretty much uh, it hides the seams of those butt joints a lot better but this in this case looks like they didn't put enough joint compound to make that drywall uh, tape stick so I'm going to be using 20 minute mud. You can use 40 minute, 90 minute, depending on how fast you work. But in this case, I'm going to use paper tape and not, I'm not going to be using mesh tape because in my experience, paper tape seems to hide everything a lot better. So you're going to mix your joint compound in a yogurt like texture, just the way I like it. You're going to apply your paper tape and you're just going to use your drywall knife to cut the end. What I do is I start in the middle and kind of squeeze out the excess from each end and then I go from side to side. Each person has their own technique but for me I like to do this. I just like to squeeze out everything of those excess and then reapply a second coat on top before it dries. So technically this is just the first coat but I apply a second one just on top just so that it pretty much hides those seams and it will be ready for the next coat. So this area again is where the fixtures are located. Again, there is some uh, cracking showing. So I'm gonna go and replace that with paper tape. The previous owner, whoever did it, who did the job used mesh tape and I didn't like how it looks because it was pretty much showing. They didn't add enough joint compound. So we're just gonna go over it again with some joint compound. Again, once it dries, you're gonna, this is 20 minute mud. So after 20 minutes or so, I wait about half an hour and then I'm gonna go scrape the the little excess with my drywall knife. There you have it. You're gonna have those little creases right there and there, which is fine. All you gotta do is take your, your joint compound knife and you're just gonna go and scrape that off or you can use um, 120 grit sandpaper. But before you do that, we're just gonna go use my drywall knife and I'm gonna run the drywall sandpaper later on. I'm gonna be using my 10 inch drywall knife just to kind of have a little bit more surface area. I like using this for second and third coats. This one is our second coat. Again, I apply a little bit of pressure on the end and I kind of feather it on the edge. Now this is, this is gonna take a few tries here and there, especially when you're working in the ceiling it gets very tiring on my arms so again i really really don't like doing the ceiling work for these because it really numbs my arms but it has to be done so we're gonna go and feather it in again this is on the edge so what i do is apply a thick coat on the end and then i feather it out this pretty much just requires technique and finesse now we're gonna go over with that the crease on the light fixture fix those bumps and there you go. Once you get to applying enough thickness, you're going to go and feather it in at the edge, fill in all the empty spots. You're going to end up having to go in different directions on these just so you can fill those empty spots. Once that's done, I'm just going to lightly sand everything. So you want to apply a nice even feathered coat of the joint compound so you can avoid too much sanding on certain areas. The next step is now applying a primer. So a good primer will prevent any flashing of the paint. So now we're going to apply the first coat of primer. Once this dries, you're going to apply any type of color paint that you want. For me, I'm going to use a colored white, which is the finish is flat so that it can have that nice clean look. So once again, friends, if you found this video helpful, please hit that big thumbs up, subscribe and notification bell, and I'll see you again on some more drywall tips and tricks in my future videos.